All right, class, welcome to another episode of Brand Academy. As always, my name is Brand, I'm Mr. Wynn's twin brother. And today, we'll be talking about zeros of a function. So make sure you have these notes right in front of you here. Uh, it does say 13.3, uh, it's actually going to be for us, it's chapter 9.4, so please fix that, okay? So, name of the game, zeros of a function, okay? So the way zeros of a function works, ultimately, your first step is to set y equals zero. Okay, so your zeros will be your x values that make the function equal to zero. Okay, so x values that make the function equal to zero in terms of a graph, is your x-intercepts. x-intercepts of a graph. So let's take a look here at your three examples, a, b, and c. The direction reads, find the zeros of each quadratic function. Reminder, quadratic function is your x squared and then check your answers. So we take a look here. It's kind of easy to see your x-intercept graphically. It would be these two points here. So these are called your x-intercepts. Intercepts, okay? So that one and then this one here. So really your answer already is gonna be when x is what? It hits it at negative one and then x equals 2. Okay, so x equals 2, x equals negative 1. So now, that was easy, okay? But now we also want to check, okay? So make sure we check your answers here. So we're going to check our answers by plugging it back in, and we should get 0. Let's take a look here. So I'm going to have y equals negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 2, okay? So just remember to flip the signs here. Flip, flip. Our negative 1 squared is just positive 1. So positive 1 plus 1 minus 2, that should equal 0. Boom. Okay, reminder, if I'm ever going too fast in this video, just feel free to hit pause so you can catch up with the notes. So we checked it for negative 1. Let's check it for negative, or not negative 2, positive 2. Just plug that in here. Boom, squared, minus 2. And then minus 2 again. Okay. These are the twos I plugged in to this equation. Two squared, this would be four, so that's four. And then minus two is two, and then minus two again. A little mental math there. This is also a zero, boom. Okay, hopefully those aren't too bad. We can take a look at B now. What is your zeros? Okay, find your zeros, aka your x-intercept. So I do want to emphasize, okay, your zero, when I say zeros, that's the same as saying your x-intercept. Okay, wherever it hits y equals zero. So in this case, there's only one x-intercept. It's going to be one comma zero. Okay, so basically x equals one. And then let's just make sure we check. Okay, it's always good to check. So you're checking it. Y equals negative two. Plug in one. One squared. Plus four times one minus two. 
So now to simplify this, that'd be negative two plus four minus two, and you got zero again. Oh, I'll just list my x-intercept over here, because I forgot. Negative one, zero, two, zero. If you look at C, do you see any zeros here, any x-intercepts? The answer is no, okay? So no x-intercepts, this means there's no solution, okay? There's no zeros, no solution. Boom, 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 okay? So those are your answers. So graphically, it's pretty easy, right? You just got to see where it hits the x-axis, if it ever hits it. That would be your answer. But now you have an equation. Okay, this is actually a little throwback. So today, you know, we're talking about zeros. That's just another fancy word for, like, your solution. Okay, it's kind of interesting, which I'll show you here. So zeros, solutions. When you have a quadratic like this, so to find your zeros, again, you set y equals zero. So right now, look at this equation. You set y equals zero. And this is now your new equation to work with. Okay, I hope this looks kind of familiar. If you want to solve for this by factoring, remember the F word, factor? You got to use your x method. So we're going to review this here. Remember, it's a times c, b is here. a times c is 1 times 6, so that is 6. Your b is 5. Give me two numbers that multiply to 6 and then add to 5. Again, you know, if you got it, cool. Then you want to pause it here to kind of process. It will be 2 and 3. And can I use a shortcut here? Okay, remember the shortcut is only when a equals one, which we can, okay, the a is one here. So you can do zero equals x plus two, x plus three. All right, so now here's the new part. Okay, we're, we're, this should be old, okay, getting to this factor form. If you want to solve for this, because we need to solve, we need to get to an answer, you set each of these equal to zero. So x plus two equals zero. Then over here, x plus three equals zero. So then solving for this, x equals negative two, x equals negative three. And so as a coordinate point, okay, as a coordinate point, this here is negative 2 comma 0. This here is negative 3 comma 0. Those are your two official answers. And then you just plot those points there. And where's negative 3? Right here. Okay. Okay, so right now, feel free to pause the video here. Okay, try B on your own, and then I'll walk you through the solutions. So if anything, just please pause the video as I do B right now myself. All right, so hopefully you're going to check your answers here. This here is already set equal to 0. So now let's do the x method. So same drill. A times C, which is 12. Your B is negative 8. Your two numbers here will be negative 6 and negative 2. Okay, negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. Negative 6 plus negative 2 adds to negative 8. Okay, and we could use a shortcut. So it's going to be x minus 6 times x minus 2 equals 0. If you could do mental math, okay, you don't have to show your work here. But I'm just going to show it just because it's your notes. You set each of them equal to 0. So when you solve for it, x equals 6, x equals 2. As a coordinate point, it's 6, 0, and it's 2, 0. Plot those. Okay, that would be your answer. 
And then last one here. Again, please pause the video if you need to pause it, just so you can actually do your work here and then you can check with me. So please pause the video right now. All right, let's check your answers. A times C, negative 15. Here's negative two, that's your B. Your two numbers is going to be negative five and three. And multiply negative 15 and add to negative two, or sorry, yeah, add to negative two. X minus five, X plus three should equal zero. And then this is the new part of the lesson. You set them each equal to zero. So x would equal five and x equals negative three. As a coordinate, five comma zero, negative three comma zero. Boom, boom, okay. So your homework is going to be, you know, you do using the x method again, but then there's an additional step, which is to find your zeros. Okay, you find your zeros by setting them each equal to zero, and then you get your x-intercepts. Okay, good job. Uh, please do your homework. It's gonna be in your textbook. Okay, your homework is oh, it's not that right here. Okay, so page. 454, 1 through 19, 27 to 31 odds. All right, have a good rest of your day.